This is how to create a glass morphism button with Flutter. And this is how you should stack them. We start by adding a boolean is blur set as false. Inside the stack widget from the scaffold, we will add first an image network. We add also a center with a child gesture detector. The gesture detector will have an untap function, a set state, and will change the value is blur to the opposite of the value. Next, we have a child inside, which is a glass morphism. This custom widget needs to have three arguments. If it's blur, we will return the value 20, otherwise it will be zero. We will set the opacity as 0.2, but we will change this later. And this is what the blur and the opacity will look like. We have also a child, which is a sized box with the height 210 and 320 for the width. Now let's create this widget. I create this folder and inside we have the widget file. We add the two imports dart UI and material.dart. Then we create a stateless widget that will return the clip or rec. I will create the three argument that we need to pass inside the widget, the blur, the opacity and the child. Inside the clip or rec, we will have the border radius circular 20. Then we add the child backdrop filter. This one have an image filter blur. The sigma x and the sigma y came from the argument. Inside this one, we have the child container with a box decoration. This one have a color white with an opacity. And this one came from the arguments also. We then add a border radius circular all with a radius 20. Inside the decoration, we also add a border all that have a width of 1.5, a color white with with opacity 0.2 and a child which came from the arguments. You can also change the opacity level inside the arguments. This is what it look if I put 0.5. This is a React Native channel. I need your help so we can pass William in subscribers. So make sure you subscribe. If you want to see my top 35 Flutter widget, you can click on this video. That's it. See you in the next one. Bye. Hello? William?